Okay, let's start. Welcome to my first installment of DM's Mind, the talk show where I apply my role-playing knowledge to my real-life experience. How cool is that? Okay, guys, let's do this. So, uh, the first story of the day <laughs> is the love story, and uh, also it's a story about choices and consequences. You see, um, that was the year uh, 2007, 207, when I was uh, applying uh, to the art school, where I showed up dressed like a Captain Jack Sparrow, and the principal didn't like it, so they don't get me in and that was a sad story and full of depression, whatever. <laughs> so after that I enrolled in a uh, printing college where I met uh, Vlad Spivak and uh, then I introduced him to a friend of mine, uh, Maria Caro, and uh, both of them were really into creative stuff so they dug up the uh, fresh theme uh, from that time, the steampunk! Wow, the steampunk, the cogs! some kind of amazing automatons, whatever. So, uh, with all that they uh, dug up some uh, steampunk music and then I was introduced, uh, thanks to them, to Emily Autumn and she was amazing. Uh, her music was so moving, so touching, I was thrilled by it and to this day I really enjoy uh, What If and By the Sword and the painting I've done uh, to, to, to By the Sword and it's a triptych, it's awesome. Check it out. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, the songs they dug up uh, stuck with me from that day, and that was like eight or something years ago. That's cool, right? So, uh, time flies, and uh, in 208, I think, uh, the year 208, I was introduced to uh, Sergei or Tanquil. The, uh, <laughs> right now he uh, plays uh, Ranger uh, in the Planescape Contagion I'm DMing. So, uh, almost eight slash seven years ago I was introduced to Sergei and he was a cool guy and we started, you know, a, a healthy friendship or something. <laughs> Time flies, and um, the year was uh, 209, I think. Uh, the uh, historical reenactment uh, festival and, you know, medieval funfair uh, of uh, Sudak uh, Genuine Helmet, I think. I, 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 will, I will check it out. The Helmet of, of Genoya, let's say the Helmet of Genoya, that's, that's a fine translation. Uh, so, uh, on the helmet of Genuia, uh, I uh, made a friendship with Duncan, another friend of mine, and he's totally awesome, he lives in Kiev, he's super handy, super, uh, you know, uh, coding dude, he's awesome. Anyhow, uh, time flies, and uh, the year is now, I think, uh, two... 13? Yes, uh, 2013. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing is that it's Emily Autumn's concert in Moscow. I'm taking a train from Crimea. And after almost a day in uh, trains, uh, you know, uh, cars, I'm uh, finally arriving to Moscow and the concert is amazing and all the cool songs from FLAG album by Emily Autumn is playing and I'm crazy uh, about it. And after the concert I'm stumbling upon the Kate, another friend of mine right now, and uh, we, uh, you know, uh, sing songs and uh, <laughs> play funny word games and uh, just browsing the night Moscow looking at the, like, Hey Kate, have you ever seen the Kremlin by night? No, I don't! Let's go friggin' browse the night uh, streets of Moscow and let's see how Kremlin big and lit by night. <laughs> so we were uh, maybe in a promenade uh, in, uh, in the night uh, in Moscow and uh, after that uh, she uh, took the train somewhere and I uh, get back to Crimea. So, uh, the thing is, uh, <laughs> some time's passed, and I think it's uh, 2013, I guess? The year is 20, 20, 2014. Why 2000? Why, why is that? Uh, 2014, and uh, 
The fun thing is that I'm in Kiev, uh, gathering a small party of my friends, and we're uh, toasting, we're uh, like uh, partying a lot. And uh, then my friend Duncan is introduced to Kate. And when uh, some days after uh, Kate's laptop is uh, gets broken, yeah, uh, Dunk allows her to uh, repair it with his amazing repairment skills. <laughs> and then the fun thing is uh, that Kate uh, gets introduced to uh, Sergey. Why do you think? Uh, that's because uh, Duncan and Sergey, both friends of mine, both get introduced to each other some, uh, I think, uh, 2013, somewhere uh, <laughs> along those lines. And they were roommates. So <laughs> the fun thing is uh, after a visit to uh, Duncan with her broken laptop, Kate uh, falls in love with Sergey. <laughs> you see? And the most amazing thing is that uh, I am somehow entwined in all this uh, amour stuff. And uh, the most amazing thing is that my choices, my choices of friendships, my music choices like Emily Atom's music, <laughs> both, uh, you see, uh, they both gave uh, some push as to uh, this this love story and the most amazing thing is that uh, they are so subliminal yes uh, the, the the choices were so uh, I, I, I even did not introduce them to each other properly right so <laughs> I was uh, like uh, uh, some kind of real idea I was behind the curtains they never saw me once at the time before that so uh, my point is uh, you see every choice you make matters and every song you ever listen matters so <laughs> when you think yeah that song's really cool and you think it like eight years ago there is a probability that will turn into a love story think about it